Live on the, I know, another half tablespoon. Can't believe he's doing it. Crazy. No, if you guys knew how much maca I eat on a daily basis, it would be like enough to choke a horse. Uh, probably like a half cup a day on some days. A lot of maca. Feels great. Feel Jay, I use so much energy. <sighs> maca. Oh, this is mesquite, so we're going to start with the maca here. A lot of M's. So we've got the triple M's in this recipe. We've got macuna, mesquite, and maca. Try that out. Try that combo out in your, in your desserts. It's pretty fantastic. So we're going to start with a tablespoon and a half of maca powder. We're going to go to a half teaspoon of mesquite. Now, mesquite is awesome because in the southwest, it grows wild all over the place. When I was at Raw Spirit Festival last year making brownies for 3,000 people, which I'll tell you about my chocolate overdose story. You guys want to hear that one later? Yeah, been there, right? What's that? Well, when you ate pounds of it in a day, pounds, yes. For me, there was. It was like, oh my god, this is a new reality. I'm a golden god. Um, I put in a, um, uh, a tablespoon and a half of maca, and I put in a half teaspoon of mesquite. Now I'm putting in the, uh, the macuna, and I'm going to be putting in... Now this stuff goes a really long way, taste-wise. I mean, it's a super, super potent taste. So in this, I'm going to be adding a quarter teaspoon of the macuna. Now all these recipes, by the way, I know you guys are probably taking notes, Again, if you sign up for my email list, you'll get all of these recipes in PDF format for you to try at home. Yeah, totally. Of course, it's how we roll. Self-reliance, baby. Um, OK, so sweetener of choice. Um, I'm using, in this particular recipe, a Jerusalem artichoke inulin, which Omica, uh, Omica Health, Rafi Dillon's company, has this for sale here, which is fantastic. The reason I like it, now you could use whatever sweetener you like. From a flavor perspective, this is the closest thing I've found in our, in our raw community, our conscious community, to maple syrup. The flavor is like this earthy, amber, really yummy, I'm going to pour it on my blueberry pancakes and bacon flavor, which I'll email you the blueberry pancakes and bacon recipe too, as a bonus. It's really good. So we're going to be adding two tablespoons of the Jerusalem artichoke inulin. So fantastic. Oh. I do. I'm just thinking about pancakes and raw waffles. And I debated on what to do. I'm like, should I do raw waffles? Should I do pancakes? Should I do raw tarts? Should I do a wedding cake? Did. I did. Rebecca and Len's wedding. Wedding cake. Action. We're doing wedding cakes, you guys. Like, the, the sky's limit. People, what are you eating? You're, you're raw. What do you mean? Uh, let's see. Pies, cakes, wedding cakes, burgers, pizza. I mean, it's getting your family into this. Start with dessert, trust me. Start with the dessert. They will get to the arugula and the seaweed and the ormus and all this amazing, crazy superfood. But you know what they want right now? Ice cream <laughs> and cake. Trust me on this. My family now, it's amazing. When I go back to Detroit, Michigan, right? Detroit, pretty rough place right now. They're in a lot of, lot of trouble energetically. It's a tough place to be. I went back. My mom is vegan and like 90% raw right now. Whoa, looks like Sophia Loren like 30 years ago. I'm like, Mom, you're hot. <laughs> God. Oh, she has like 30 old guys hitting on her. It works. Trust me. My family now, they're getting into so much raw. It's amazing. It's like, wait, when I was here, you guys were not doing this. Yeah, but while you were gone, you planted the seed, and then years later, trust me, when you are a living representation of what is in your highest good and your highest joy, because the joy is what people will tune into. The happiness, the effervescence, the sexiness, people tune into it. You never know where that seed is going to bloom. Trust me, I can see it in my own family. It's a miracle what has happened in my own family. So just hold that vibration. Whatever you guys are, he are feeling, that joy, it affects other people. Trust me, you may not see it at first, but it does affect them. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Now you could rock some coriander in here too. I like, I like some coriander, some cinnamon combination. And then we're talking about red clover here, which is great for hormone balancing. Um, hormone replacement therapy, really, really scary idea. Um, again, going back to my mom and the ladies in my family when they were debating years ago whether or not to go on HRT, which is made from scary stuff like horse urine, pregnant mare urine, all this crazy stuff. Um, we're talking about things that naturally you can use with a lot of phytoestrogens, natural phytoestrogens like red clover. A lot of people go to soy for their phytoestrogens and their isoflavones. Um, soy, not such a good idea anymore. Of course, the genetic modification, 
the things that are going on with that. Red clover, I found out, has the highest level of isoflavones that I've found. Phytoestrogens, healthy phytoestrogens estrogens for women that are going through menopause. Fantastic red clover, amazing thing. So um, we're going to be adding 10 drops here. Actually, you know, half a drop or full would be fine. That's about 10 drops. Raspberry, Raspberry leaf is awesome, too. Yeah, Don Kwai, too. Don Kwai tea. Fantastic things. Um, a little bit, what's that? Shadabari, I've heard, is, is great as well. And then we're going to be adding, um, this is a fantastic product, ground vanilla beans. Now, I'm kind of old school. When I, oh, wait, hold on. Wait. Oh, my God. If you guys have never, like, taken a serious hit off freshly ground vanilla beans, it's like, mm. it's like the most comforting smell ever. Yeah, I'll invite, when you guys up to get samples, just take a hit. Just take a big, fat whiff. It's the best thing ever. We're going to be adding uh, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground vanilla bean. And then our last ingredient is almond butter, raw almond butter. Now, you guys know about what's going on with California almonds, the pasteurization? Yeah? OK. You guys know where to find really, really, truly raw, organic, unpasteurized almonds? Farmer's market, exactly. So I'm in Topanga, and there's a guy in Calabasas who's under 100 acres, right? So there's a stipulation that if you're a farmer and you're less than 100 acres, you are not required by law to pasteurize your almonds. So you find a small farmer who has killer almonds. They're out there. Go to your farmer's market. Ask. Say, how big is your farm? Is it over 100 acres? Yes or no? Are you pasteurizing? You'll find the most amazing almonds in California. You've got to do your research, though. It's out there. So um, the whole thing that's been put on us with the pasteurization, you can certainly get around it. This brand in particular I really love. They're out of Berkeley. They're a co-op. Uh, I think it's, this is the living tree. Oh, my God, this almond butter is fantastic. Mmm, so good. So good, so good, so good. And we're going to be using a tablespoon of that. Almond butter takes me back to the beginning days when it was like ants on a log. That's all I ate. I'm raw. I don't know what I ate. Uh, celery with raisins and almond butter. Gets you through. Gets you through college, kids. <laughs> Trust me. Throw away the ramen noodles. Go to the ants on a log. It'll change your world. Okay, so we've got everything for our maca mama malt, and now we blend again. Yeah, we blend again. Ooh. Burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno. You sing to the blender, too. I try and match the pitch of the blender sometimes, like... Likes it. Likes it. Likes it. Mm. Want to fill a bathtub with it? Okay. So, um, sample, Dave. I was just gonna come up there and say I've got to do some body control. <laughs> Without oh, first testing the quality, and um, we have pretty strict stipulations, so. Yeah, I'm going to definitely need more of that to really get a real sample. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a horse level maca there. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. Horse level. This is, That's what we need. Wow. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. If it's good enough for a Mayan warrior, it's good enough for you. <laughs> I think we need to raffle off somebody to get a drink. What do you think? You guys ready? Here we go. All right. Raffling off a drink here. Mm. Jason Rebel's Maka Mama Magic. Here it is. Eight one nine zero four seven. Zero four seven. Zero four seven. Going once. Going twice. Gone. All right. Here we go. Eight one nine one five three. One five three. One five three. One five three. Going once. One five three. Going twice. Gone. All right. Here we go. One more. Eight one nine three nine nine. Three nine nine. Three hundred ninety nine. Yes. 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 She's. Come on down. Woo. Woo. All right. Come on with your warrior self, man. Oh, well, we are all about creating our own reality. That might be something different, though. Do we get that out? 